to Vlogmas day two. Today is Friday. I've been working a little bit this morning and getting ready for the day, having my breakfast. And today on the agenda, I have a hair appointment later. I also was invited to an event that I might stop by and who knows? Who knows what else the day will hold? But let's open day two of the advent calendar. So day two is at the bottom right here. <gasps> so this is the treatment motion. Here it is up close. I just looked up what it does. It says that it delivers an instant rush of hydration to visibly soften, nourish, and improve texture. And apparently you're supposed to apply it to your face directly after cleansing. So kind of like that toner step. And it just seems like it would be a good to just apply a few drops before you put on your moisturizer or your eye cream or your serums. Yeah, it just kind of preps the skin. So I can't wait to try that. I love like when I get new products, putting them in their little spot in the medicine cabinet. All right, so now I want to get my apartment space really festive. Last night, Lyle and I decorated the Christmas tree together, and that just instantly makes the apartment feel like it's holiday time, it's cozy, and it's like decorated, you know, holiday decor. And in here, we're still a little birthday themed because as you can see, um, as you might have known from my Thanksgiving and birthday vlog, that yeah, my birthday was over Thanksgiving, and so I've still got the balloons here, so I'm gonna kind of shift that over. And then I got something really exciting, which is <laughs> this giant box, which is a pre-lit Christmas tree. So I just feel like I spent a lot of time filming in this room and just getting ready in this room, picking out outfits in this room, so I felt like it would feel extra festive in the morning when I'm getting ready, doing my red lipstick to just see a little Christmas tree on the side. And I feel like it's fun to have multiple Christmas trees kind of throughout the apartment to make it feel really festive. Um, this is from Amazon, I'll leave it linked. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up. done it looks so good it took a little while to set up and it was a little messy I just spent all this time vacuuming and getting all these little pieces of flocking flocked the flocked this fake snow part off of my sleeves but yeah I definitely can confirm that I am a real tree girl I uh, I'm not a fake tree girl <laughs> definitely real trees all the way by far 100% um, I actually think that the fake tree is much messier than the real tree because I think a lot of people worry about pine needles with the real trees, but the flocking on this is a lot worse. <laughs> At least maybe because it's brand new, but I, like every time you touch it, 
it falls. It's like it's snowing, which is kind of cute, but messy. <laughs> Anyways, but it looks so good though. I decorated it with these pink ornaments that I've had, and it's a cute little girly tree. <laughs> I was going to go to an event with Sunday's The Nail Studio after, but I just wasn't really feeling like it. I had my hair appointment and as you might know, if you follow these videos, I have a very difficult relationship with my hair and I just never really fully feel like I'm happy with it and I don't know, with my hair appointment I just kind of felt like just a little bit sad with the state of my hair being so thin and fine and especially after I got the extensions out but I'm on the journey of um, recovering it so we did cut it pretty short and we lightened it up a little bit and did a treatment hope I'm hoping that the shortcut will help with getting it in a healthy place before my wedding next year but I think after this I won't really be cutting it so short anymore because I want to make sure I have enough length for the hairstyle that I do for the actual wedding. So yeah, I've been trying to like plan really far in advance <laughs> for the wedding for my hair. But anyway, so I had that, came back, I was feeling a little bit down on myself for my hair appointment. But if there is one thing that makes me <laughs> super happy, it's getting packages in the mail. I mean, what girl doesn't love getting a package in the mail? I got two packages. Both are things that I have been, been a very excited to get. So, let's start with the big one. This is my birthday present from Lyle. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So it is this beautiful white coat from Alice and Olivia. I had my eye on this. It went on Black Friday sale and I didn't know it was going to but I was really excited when I saw that. But when it did it was sold out in my size so Lyle ended up calling the store and we got it and it is just so pretty. It is one that I put it on, I remember I put it on in the store and I posted it on my story so I was like, does this look like a robe? And most people said no, but um, some people did say yes, but honestly, I love it and it makes me happy. Alright, okay, I'm going to show you the full length. Let's back it up. So it's like a midi length and it has one button in the center here. I love these really wide lapels. I love the length and the width of the sleeves. I love the thickness of it. And I love this belt. So I generally always tie with coats like this. I tie the belt like this where I have one end is short and one end is long. And with the long end, I put it over the short end. And then I go under with the long end and through. So just like a regular tie. And then I take the long end and... I always usually do this quickly so it's weird that I go around again the short end and I push through the bunny ear and then I just pull like that and it kind of looks like that perfect for Christmas in New York City it's a very like just elegant lady coat I feel like I say that a lot about different coats but this one is totally that style and I just love how wide this part is and the wrap around the back it's something of like an old New York kind of Hollywood glam I think about it and then the other thing that I got is just an Amazon purchase however it's an exciting Amazon purchase and that is a crystal juice juicer this actually I got on Amazon, but I didn't see it I was being sold at a lot, of, a lot of different retailers and it was on sale like everywhere. I just, when it becomes the hot, like December, November, 
like January in the winter months I like to lean into like citrus more like grapefruits clementines oranges and I am someone who loves fresh juice in the morning especially orange juice but I just thought like I could just instead of having the super sugary one that you buy at the store I could just make it myself at home by buying the fruit and then just squeezing it myself and I didn't want to just get like any old juicer you know me I gotta make everything super cute so this is obviously where you put the citrus on you put it on top here and then just kind of squeeze it around and then the juice catches in here and then you can probably barely see it on, on camera but around there's holes like there 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 and in, the, in like there and the juice squeezes into this so basically put it on there squeeze it collect the juice and then you have some fresh, freshly squeezed orange juice, grapefruit juice, anything. I just, I felt like that was a pretty, that was a, a brilliant idea that I feel like I've had. Um, and I can't believe it's actually crystal and it was that cheap. I was like looking at this like, is this actually crystal? I'll leave it linked if anyone's interested. Just a way to make your mornings feel a little extra fancy. All right, so it's dinner time now. Lyle and I are going to head over to Laura Lee Beer Garden. It's just you know very casual um we heard they have it decked out for the holidays so maybe we'll see some holiday decorations and just have like a warm cozy dinner together i i was just looking at their menu and i saw that they have a french onion soup on there so soup in the winter time especially french onion soup with all the cheese it's just i don't know just quote, makes me feel cozy so yeah we're gonna head over to dinner dinner we uh it was very very festive and decked out for the holidays so perfect place to end the night and i got a french onion soup and we shared some pretzels and this like hot chocolate thing and it was pretty nice but now i'm just doing my skincare routine I'm gonna go to bed but i wanted to try the new lumiere item from today's advent calendar it was the treatment lotion i'm actually i think i'm just gonna put this directly on my hand so i've just done my cellar water and cleansed my face oh that's probably a little bit too much that's okay so after cleansing this is now what I'm going in with and then I'm going to follow with my regular serum which is a hyaluronic acid serum but this is supposed to kind of prep the skin before the serum and especially if that's a hydrating serum even better so that's what I'm going with a hyaluronic acid so hopefully we'll see if this just kind of aids in the moisturizing of the skin so this is just the hyaluronic acid in b5 from the ordinary it does kind of feel like it's sticking to it <laughs> maybe that's in my head but um this serum is actually pretty sticky to begin with especially if you're comparing it to the super bounce from glossier which is very similar formula but it feels even stickier than that with the la mer so great after serum i'm just going to do Actually, I'm gonna do my nighttime moisturizer tonight. It's going to be this one from Epiance. It is a medical bar barrier cream. My friend told me about it after I got a facial and my skin was super dry. And it was the only thing that really saved my skin. And especially with the colder weather, I feel like that's really needed right now. <laughs> Always get the neck. That should be it for the night. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush my teeth and stuff. So I will say goodbye here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for day three. All right, bye.